Monsieur David, I have the angle of attack sensor data. Becable. Investigators hope the flight data recorder from XL Airways Flight 888 will finally explain what went wrong in the skies over Perpignan, France. Information from a key set of sensors stands out. That's odd. Partway through the flight, two critical sensors failed at exactly the same time. We know they were descending here, but the sensors still show a climb. Angle of attack sensors act like small weather vanes on the outside of the plane. During flight, they pivot. Their movement helps the flight computer monitor the position of the plane so it can automatically adjust the flight systems to maintain lift. If the sensors got stuck in one position when they malfunctioned, it would explain why the computer didn't detect the dangerous angle of the plane. We need to get a look at those sensors. Investigators test the mechanism that allows the sensors to move. Anything? It's working perfectly. There seems to be no way to explain why the sensors failed. Well, something jammed them. David graphs altitudes and corresponding air temperatures throughout the flight. Minus 50 at 32,000 feet. At high altitudes, the air outside the plant is extremely cold. This gives him an idea. Can the sensors freeze? If there was ice in the sensor mechanism, it might have frozen them in place. Investigators wonder if rainwater from a severe storm flooded the sensors and then froze. It's a dead end. The weather was nice that day. The plane didn't encounter any bad weather. If water got inside the sensors, it happened on the ground, not in the air. Investigators visit the hangar where the plane spent three weeks being serviced. They learn the work included painting the plane, replacing XL Airways colors with those of the Air New Zealand fleet. They notice something else in the maintenance records. The plane needed extra cleaning after the paint job was done. Tell me exactly how you clean this plane. Normally, maintenance workers use a clean cloth to remove any dust. But this time, they rinse the plane with a hose. Spraying uncovered sensors with a high-pressure hose might explain how water got so deep inside. But the investigators need proof. There's one test they need to do to be absolutely sure. They flood the sensors of an A320 with water and recreate flight 888. At low altitudes, the sensors work perfectly. So far, so good. When the plane reaches 32,000 feet, the temperature inside the sensor drops below freezing. There they go. The sensors aren't moving. The water inside freezes, and the sensors stop working. The result explains why the flight computer didn't prevent the plane from stalling during the low-speed test. Get your power at idle. Adjust pitch. Flaps full. With the sensors frozen, the computer can't calculate the plane's true angle of attack.